Dr. Annette, and I have an awesome topic for you today. I hope that you are as excited as I am to see it. Um, it's all about poop. We're talking about poop on Poop Talk. Woo! So are you a busy person? Do you have a busy lifestyle? Are you running from event to event, trying to get all of the things done, taking care of the kids, trying to make sure that everything is done um, easily and quickly and on time? Maybe you're running from soccer practice to dance class to PTA meetings or whatever. You've got a busy lifestyle. And I want to talk about how that busy lifestyle affects your gut health and your digestion. So, number one, just for um, body's sake, um, whenever you eat food, your body sends blood to your digestive tract so it can process the food. All of the energy that's going on in your body is directed there, which is why sometimes you feel like you need to rest a little bit after you eat, because especially if you eat a big meal like Thanksgiving dinner, everybody thinks it's just the turkey, which the turkey may have something to do with it, but eating that big meal, that great big meal makes you lethargic because your body is focused on digestion. So if you think about it, the fact that your body actually has to focus on digestion for an hour or so to help break down those foods and do what it's supposed to do with those things, does it make sense maybe that you shouldn't run a marathon or be running through the mall or be chasing after like a soccer practice right after a meal? And if you think about this, how many times do we feed our children on the way to soccer practice and then wonder why they're kind of bleh, they don't really do much or they can't focus on what they're doing? Um, that has to do, first of all, with the quality of food that they're eating, but also the fact that they ate and their body is trying to digest their food, and instead they're having to think and run and be active and do things. So if you really want to do your body a favor and you want to have the proper kind of digestion and give your body you know, a head start on getting those things taken care of, then one of the things that you want to do is allow yourself some time to let your food get at least partially processed before you jump onto your next task. So if you're living a high stress life, that's one of the reasons that your digestion could suffer because you're so busy in your head that your body isn't able to focus on digestion and you know which causes like a vicious cycle right so you can't digest your food so your body is more stressed but you're all stressed out so your body can't digest your food just like what came first the chicken or the egg so you need to take your time eat your meal eat it slowly don't like shove it in and take off running again or literally eating while you're driving or eating on the go you need to give your body an opportunity to digest the food that you just ate so a high stress lifestyle when you're running, 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 running all over the place and you're just shoving food in your mouth because you're in a hurry. First of all, when you do that, they, I know, Margaret, isn't that crazy? Um, I'm describing everyone, I think. <laughs> but when you, um, if you eat stressed or eat on the go, number one, you're probably making poor food choices, which is one of this is number four. You're making bad food choices. You tend to eat more than you normally would because you're not thinking about what you're eating. So say you run through a drive through and you just grab like a big old sandwich or something. Um, first of all, you're going to grab something that tastes good, not necessarily as healthy for you, number one. Then uh, you're going to eat stressed. You're going to drive and eat at the same time, which is crazy bad for you. It's also bad for driving, but it's bad for your body to eat and drive at the same time. So you'll overeat because you're not paying attention to what you're doing. You make bad choices because you're not paying attention to what you're doing. And the stress of all of that, plus trying to drive and eat and get where you're going and fight with traffic and get the kids to eat their food and Jimmy spilled his orange juice and all of those things while you're trying to drive down the road, it's really hard on your body. It's bad for your digestion. And then um, all of that running around and running around and running around also not only depletes your body's ability to digest foods properly, it's going to 
cause you to have less time for exercise because you're so busy, 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 run, 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 run. So one of the ways that, and of course the, the last one, you're, you're going to have a lack of water. You're going to not drink water because you're not thinking about what you're doing. So I know a lot of the things that I talk about require preparation, meal planning, making menus, um, preparing for your day the day before. But the reason I preach all of those things is because it's ultimately so important for you, for your health, and for the health of your children and the health of your family to make sure that you're thinking about the food that you're putting in your body. And if you make a plan and you know what you're going to be eating, like say, for example, busy mom life. Sunday afternoon, you had soccer tournaments all day. You're exhausted. You take the kids out for pizza. You come home. You haven't been uh, to the store yet this weekend because you ran from soccer practice to, to dance recitals to this, to that, the other thing. We live such busy lives now. And so Monday morning, it's time for school. Oh, my gosh. Guess what? I forgot to go shopping. Here, eat this cereal. Hurry up. Let's get out the door. Let's go. So how would your mornings look if you actually set aside some time during the week to plan, to prepare what you're going to do this week? I have an amazing recipe for what I call like um, egg muffins, basically. Um, it's scrambled eggs and whatever your children will eat inside of them. Um, some diced bacon, maybe some sausage, some vegetables, um, mushrooms, a little bit of cheese. Make, plan ahead. So one day, like Sunday morning while you're making breakfast for everyone else, maybe make some egg cups or egg muffins or whatever you want to call them. You just mix them up and you spray a um, cupcake tin and you pour the eggs in about halfway full on each tin and then you bake it in the oven and then those store really nicely in the refrigerator and believe it or not you just toss them in the microwave for about 15 seconds you can put a little bit of cheese on top whatever and the kids have a hot healthy meal before they leave for school or before they head out to do their day of whatever meal planning and meal prepping seems like it takes time out of your day but believe it or not, if you plan your week in advance and maybe even do some cooking on like whatever day is your least busy day, um, maybe Friday night, if you're not going out, if you're going to stay home and watch movies on Friday night with the family while you're preparing to watch those movies, you can throw a, a healthy meatloaf in the oven and let it bake. Or you could um, do some egg cups and let those bake while you're watching movies. There's lots of things that you can do to like double up. And I know if you're a high stress mom, you know how to double up on things. You know how to do laundry and dishes and watch the kids. You know how to do all of these things. So if you take a few minutes out of your week and plan, your stress level will come down and you won't be rushed, rushed, rushed. You won't be making as many bad choices, eating on the go and all of those things. And let me just tell you, I know that you're in a hurry to get some kind of food in your children before they go to soccer practice or whatever, but they would be better off doing soccer practice on an empty stomach than eating uh, McDonald's or some fast food that's really not very nutritious for them and then eating after than they would be to hurry up and just grab something and eat on their way. If they, if they are hungry and they have to have something, make sure they have a healthy snack. Maybe they can eat an apple or um, some sort of keto-friendly snack, maybe um, some zucchini with ranch dressing, something like that, a small snack that's healthy, that's not heavy on their stomach so that their body doesn't have to focus so much on digestion. It'll make them more acutely aware of what's going on. They'll actually do better at soccer practice and they won't be carrying around this big brick of beef or hot dog or whatever it is that they just ate while they're trying to do their dance recital or whatever. So it's okay to not necessarily eat at the same time every single day. And if they had a really healthy lunch, then a, lo a little snack before practice and maybe a little snack or something healthy before bed would be a better choice than to just grab a big meal and eat it on the run or to eat a piece of pizza while driving down the road. So I'm just saying that your health will improve 
if you start to plan a little bit ahead and do some meal prepping, do some planning, and actually make sure that you're thinking about things that will take stress off of you later in the week, your kids will love you for it, your family will be healthier, your life will be less stressful, and your digestion will improve. So that's uh, my poop talk for today. And I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Dr. Annette, and I love to help people feel great and have the energy to do the things they love to do with the people they love to do it with. I love you guys. I think you're amazing. I know that you can do this, and I know that that you can make yourself important. Make sure that you're coming first. I mean, you cannot pour from an empty cup. So if you're not taking care of your own health, how can you take care of anyone else's? And you need to set a good example for the people that are watching you, whether they be the little people or just your friends or your family or other people in your community. Set a good example for other people. And, um, you know, you can even do like if you really want to get together with your girlfriends, you could do meal prepping together. Have a party at your house. Everybody brings their ingredients and you guys do all your meal prepping together at the same time. It's a lot of fun. You guys get to hang out. You can drink a glass of wine and be prepared for the coming week and take care of all of the things. I hope this was helpful. If you think someone else could benefit from this, please, please, please invite them to watch it. Make sure you click follow and see first so that you get notified. And do make sure that you interact with me on Messenger because my bot will remind you. I have a little bot assistant, a little robot assistant that will remind you anytime I go live on Facebook. So just go to my page. It's just look on Facebook for Ask Dr. Annette and click on send me a message. Um, because if you interact with my bot, that'll put you into my group. And then anytime I have something awesome to share with you, you'll get a message. So hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share. Have a great Thursday. Oh my goodness. It's almost the end of the week. And um, go be awesome today. Someone needs you to be awesome today. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone else. But just be you. You're awesome just the way you are. Love you guys.